David Hockney's latest exhibition displays all the vibrancy that has defined his career. But some of the artist's current work, which depicts spring in his native Yorkshire, was created on an iPad, not on an easel. All of the draftsmanship that he shows in his drawings and the painterly quality and use of colour that's demonstrated in his paintings are in these iPads as well. So it's all of that experience of, of decades of painting and drawing are present in these works. What he sees the iPad is, is another tool. It's, it's like a, a portable paint box and what he loves is that it's got that immediacy. And throughout his career, the 74-year-old has continued to experiment with different mediums despite complaints from traditionalists. A lot of people visiting the show might think, oh, you know, I mean, this isn't right. Using the new technology, it's like some sort of cheat. It's like some sort of, um, no, 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 it's dodgy. Um, but the thing about Hockney is that he's always used whatever materials are available to him. And this is some of the work that I'm working on at the moment. Penelope Wakeham has been making digital art for the last 20 years. She argues apps help her work, but don't make it easier to create a masterpiece. You get out what you put in. It's particularly true of computers. You have to put the effort in to get anything out. The really good thing about the iPad is that you can pick it up in your hands and you can use your fingers to take the cursor on a walk. It's more physical. Some are bound to question whether apps equal art, but Hockney argues even Van Gogh would have used one if he'd had the chance. Lucy Cotter, Sky News.